In this problem, it is estimated that there are 27 deaths for every 10 million people who use airplanes. A company that sells flight insurance provides $100,000 in case of death in a plane crash. A policy can be purchased for $1. We are going to calculate the expected value and determine how much the insurance company can make over the long run for each policy. Let's construct the table of information. The first column, it will be the column for the outcomes or possible outcomes. In this case, gonna be the death case or the survival case. And the next column gonna be the column of net gain or net loss for the company. So this is gonna be based on the company side. And the last column is the probability of each outcome. For the net gain and net loss, we can determine by from the company side, every policy, the company gain $1, that's the value, that the cost of the policy. And then for the death situation, the company has to pay $100,000. That means in this case, the company will have the net loss of $99,999. So the loss represented by the negative side. For the survival case, the company collect $1. So that would be the net gain for the company. And the probability based on the information, 27 out of 10 million, that would be the probability of the case of the death. So then not death or survival gonna be one minus 27 over 10 million, which is 9999. 973 divided by 10 one one, uh, and sigma zeros. Okay. So we can check it by adding these two numbers to get the value one, which is the probability of the event and the probability of the event E not occurring which is one. So to compute the expected value, we are going to find the product of the outcome and the probability. So I'm gonna add another column, which is next to it. So this column is the product of the net gain or loss. and the probability of the outcome. For the case of the death, we're gonna to have to multiply negative 99999 by 27 out of 10 million. And the number comes out to be 269973. Two six nine 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 seven three, okay, over ten million, and then the second number that would be the product of one, and the number nine 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 seven three, over ten million. And we get the number, the same thing, like 9999973 divided by 10 million. So to compute the expected value, we're gonna add these two numbers together. 
to the E or expected value for the company that can make going to be the sum. So this one is negative side, don't forget. So negative two, six, nine, 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 seven, three. With the same denominator, so we just combine the numerator together. So nine, 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 seven, three. They both share the same denominator as ten million. And the sum of the numerator gives us seven, three, zero, zero, seven, seven, three, zero, 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 zero. All divided by 10 million. Simplify the number in the decimal form. We will get 0 0.73 in the positive side. So for the company side, this number means in the long run. The insurance company. can make 73 cents for each policy. Uh, for each policy sold. 